A stolen car was involved in two accidents overnight before being dumped in a Townsville suburb. Police are searching for the thieves who caused thousands of dollars in damage during the rampage while the victims were left to count the cost. These skid marks show where a stolen Ford Falcon lost control and slammed into a parked Land Cruiser around 4 o'clock this morning. The force of the crash moved the cruiser onto the footpath and left the Falcon missing its front bumper. Come outside, they were taking off and discovered my unit had been hit. The car was one of two stolen from a Rasmussen home overnight. After it rammed Mitch Newman's ute, it was dumped down the road. The vehicle was subsequently located in uh, Heatley. Uh, extensively damaged. It's the third major stolen car crash in Townsville in the last week. This time no one was injured, however Mitch is now out of work. He runs his own business with earth moving equipment. With thousands of dollars of damage to his car, he can't work. The ute is all means of the roof overhead and the food on our table. Without that ute, I can't work. The thieves are still on the run from police. They say the best way to stop crime is by taking away any opportunity for it. Hide your keys at home. Place them in cupboards, in drawers, uh, in containers or somewhere. Uh, I don't think anybody would leave a $20 note or a $50 note sitting on the kitchen bench. On Monday, fed up locals will rally at the courthouse calling for tougher sentences for those that keep up antisocial behaviour. Stealing cars isn't a living. Um, if they're taught it, taken out bush, given a bit of discipline, made to work, they might learn the real ways of life. Benjamin Stavala, Win News.